This video shows some invertebrates that I found in the woods and nearby tall grass. This is just a small sampling of the bugs that live in these habitats. Filming was done on 10 September 2016 in a rural area near Albany, New York, USA. Here are wood lice that were under leaves and near decaying wood. Wood lice are isopod crustaceans. This paper says regarding wood lice, quote, their diet consists mostly of decaying organic materials, such as leaf litter, decayed wood, fungi, and bacterial mats. Much research has been devoted to consumption in woodlands and grasslands, and has shown that weathering of litter with conditioning by microorganisms improves its palatability to isopods." End quote. On the left side here is what I think is a springtail. I'm not sure, but based on bugguide.net, it looks like this springtail may be in the superfamily Onychioroidae, which are in the order Podromorpha. This article says, quote, Podromorpha are elongate springtails with a clearly segmented body, cylindrical in shape or slightly flattened. Contrary to other springtails, the prothorax is always developed and bears dorsal CT. Podiomorpha are usually uniformly pigmented. Many are white, while most of the others present a monochromatic pigmentation limited to blue or red. End quote. This is another springtail, perhaps of the same type, that was crawling on a log. Here's a mosquito that landed on a log. This is from the grass area. Here's probably a weevil. I found it on a flower. The same flower also contained another bug, maybe a beetle. On the ground, I found this ant, which was writhing, apparently in pain. I couldn't figure out why. There's a remote chance that I accidentally stepped on it before finding it, but if so, I would expect it to have been more crushed, so plausibly it's suffering from some natural cause instead. I watched the ant for a minute, and it didn't seem to recover, so I eventually crushed it as quickly as I could using my fingernails and a hard surface to put it out of its misery. Unfortunately, it's difficult to crush ants thoroughly because their exoskeletons are very hard. I hope the intense pain that the ant must have experienced from being crushed didn't last too long. Normally, I advise that if people do crush bugs, they do so using a hard item like a flat piece of wood so that they can press harder than a fingernail can to make sure they completely squish the bug. In this particular case, since I was outside, I didn't have access to a harder surface. 